I'm going to be showing you how to make a Delphinium flower balloon bouquet. First of all, take a 260 balloon in blue and inflate to about a three to four inch tail, something like that. Let a little bit of air out just to soften at the uh, beginning here. Put a twist in that balloon. Hang on to that, I've not tied that yet and take a second 260 and inflate. So that was about six strokes of Qualitex hand pump, let a little bit of air out, and tie those two balloons together. Okay, and make another one of these. Take your two duplets and twist them together here, okay? Give everything a little bit of a squeeze. If anything feels a little bit tight, you just want to go in to give that a little bit of a squeeze. Okay, that one feels a little bit tighter than my others. Okay, and then bring your balloons together like this. And at the top, just try and level them off as best you can. Then grab hold of them all and twist off hang on to everything, then I like to turn everything this way up and I twist these balloons together because if we don't do this, everything is going to come undone, okay? So we need to make sure that we twist everything around, okay? So that when we hold this up, it's not going to come undone, okay? And then what you want to do is twist off another set of bubbles that is just a little bit bigger than the top one. So twist everything, twist everything round, put it this way up, and I just find it easier to twist everything together in this position, okay? So when everything's really well twisted together, bring it back here, bring your balloons down, and you want to make another set of bubbles that is just a little bit bigger again, okay? So twist, twist everything round, turn upside down, and just pack everything together, okay? Really well. Okay, and then we're going to carry on everything a little bit of a squeeze if everything's feeling a little bit tight okay and again just slightly bigger again a twist okay and twist everything around one another okay so you can't it's just really sort of flatting those balloons okay and back up and we're going to do one more set of bubbles. So again, just squeeze everything together, bring them down, and just, just fractionally larger. Twist, turn them upside down, and pack them all together without putting yourself in place as little as possible. Got our flower head with uh, five sets. Okay. What I like to do with these, I just tuck them underneath. You can cut them off if you like, uh, but uh, I just find it's neater to just tuck them in. Next, take a green 260 and inflate. And that's three or four strokes of the hand pump or so. Let a little bit of air just to soften. Okay, and I'm going to make some loops of about four fingers or so, three to four fingers. So I'm just twisting off flower petal loops as we've done before. If you're not familiar with this technique, then check out my beginner series where I cover all these techniques in quite a bit of detail. So you've got the top there. What I like to do here is just put a little um, poodle tail on the end, just a little puff of air on the end. So I snap out the end here like this. I 
like a twist here. Okay. And then I hold on to that and I just gently hold on to that and then press down on this bubble here and that poodle tails at the end. Okay. And so you've got a flower stem there that isn't too long. And then what I do is I just twist that stem directly into the base of the flower. Okay. And I take those loops and I twist them around. Okay. Pop them in position. And then we can start to break off our blue balloons. Let's break the others off. Okay. And then with these tails, you can tie them all together in a knot, crack in the ends, and then just cut off the excess. Make a couple more of these to add to your bouquet. Next, take a long piece of monofilament line, the thinner the better. Take your flower and your monofilament line and just tie that monofilament line around your flower. And you can hide your tail inside the center here. So just tuck that in there. Okay. So these are large flower heads, and if we don't do this, they will wobble all over the place, okay? And then wrap your monofilament line into your next flower head. So just wrap that around, and then find your next one, and wrap it in there. that first one and that's just going to hold your flower heads together you can leave this just in case you need to tighten everything up for the next stage take another piece of monofilament line and just wrap that into the uh, tops of these stems just around those green petals that you made so you want to be very careful with this monofilament line because it can cut into the latex balloons, okay? So we've wrapped it around this one and we're just going to work our way around and just wrap it into the next stem. And just work your way around the bouquet. People don't notice the monofilament line when you make these bouquets and they do, just adding this does make the bouquet last that much longer, okay? Next, I've got a gold bow and I've just added some monofilament line to the back of that and I'm just going to pull that in to my, the base of my flower heads using that monofilament line and just gonna secure everything there. So I'm just taking both tails of the monofilament line and wrapping them into the bouquet at the back. So there you've got your flower bouquet with bow. I always like to finish the ends of the bow off to a neat point. I'll see you again in the next video.